Hey guys, Crispy Bacon back with another build for you. In this video, we'll be covering a Warlock PvE build that I call Ruinous Radius. This build is a close quarters powerhouse, taking the Ruinous Effigy to its absolute maximum potential, and when comboed with another exotic, a subclass, and a few mods, we can make it so that any enemy around our Warlock will be destroyed in seconds. A few features of this build will be double special weapons, very rapid super and rift energy gain, explosive AoE damage when enemies are in close quarters, as well as self-healing. This build is pretty simple to set up, so let's start by talking about the items and weapons that you'll need to set it up yourself. In your primary slot, you can use whatever your favorite kinetic special weapon is. I happen to use Mountaintop a lot, and it works well with this build, but feel free to use whatever you want here. In our energy slot, we'll be using the most important part of this build, and that is Ruinous Effigy. And in our heavy slot, again, you can use whatever you prefer here. I happen to be using Falling Guillotine, which is a very popular choice at the moment. But again, you can use any of your preferred heavy weapons here. But it's really our exotic armor piece that we're using that starts to make this build interesting. With this setup, we'll be using Vesper of Radius, a Warlock exotic chest piece. And if you don't know, when we're nearby enemies, our rifts actually charge much faster. And each time we use our rift, it actually creates an arc explosion that damages any nearby enemies. Now this is such a nice combination with the Ruinous Effigy's Transmutation Spheres, which are those void balls that we're using to both damage our enemies and then slam dunk on them. Because to use those Transmutation Spheres effectively, we need to be very close to all the enemies that we're engaging with. And for every second that we're surrounded by enemies while using those spheres, we'll be gaining a ton of Rift energy, easily getting Rift back within 5 seconds. And it's when we start using those Rifts so often that this build gains a ton of utility. We'll be using a few mods that takes advantage of the rapid rift usage, as well as our close quarters playstyle here. Namely, those mods will be Stacks on Stacks, Charge Harvester, Reactive Pulse, and Double Dynamo mods. These Dynamo mods give us super energy every time we use our rift while we're near enemies, and since we're having our rift almost all the time, we are getting very rapid super ability gain. Additionally, we'll be using the Reactive Pulse mod, which makes it so that while we're charged with light, taking damage while surrounded by combatants allows us to emit a burst of damaging arc energy, which consumes one stack of charge with light. Now since this whole build revolves around always being surrounded by enemies, this really is the perfect armor mod to set up this build. And getting charged with light for Reactive Pulse to activate is as simple as killing enemies in any way possible thanks to the Charge Harvester mod. This makes it so that as long as we're killing enemies with the Transmutation Spheres from Ruinous Effigy, we become charged with light after we kill a certain handful of enemies. And whenever we get this effect to proc, we actually get two charges of light thanks to the Stacks on Stacks mod. So as long as we are killing enemies constantly with the Ruinous Effigy Transmutation Spheres, we are automatically getting charged with light, emitting these arc pulses thanks to Reactive Pulse, and then whenever we use our Rift we're getting tons of super energy and knocking enemies back with another arc blast thanks to Vesper of Radius. As for stats, I would focus on mobility, recovery, and intellect because that'll synergize the most with this build, and we really don't need too much thanks to the powerhouse that is Ruinous Effigy. Now, as for the subclass choice, this is where things get really interesting and kind of put the icing on the cake for this setup. For most content, I would actually recommend Bottom Tree Stormcaller, which is Attunement of the Elements, and there are two perks that we really want to focus on here. Electrostatic Surge makes it so that each of our rifts lasts longer, and it actually charges faster when we're near our allies. And when we combine this faster charge rate when we're near our allies with the already fast charge rate of Vesper of Radius being surrounded by enemies, we are getting our rifts so rapidly it's uh, actually pretty crazy. And alongside this we have the Arc Soul perk, which makes it so that each of these rifts gives ourselves and our allies an Arc Soul, which does a bit of extra arc damage that even works while we're using our transmutation spheres. And because we have our rifts so often with this setup, we actually end up having Arc Soul throughout the entire activity, basically whatever you're playing. So that's my preferred setup. I think it is the perfect synergistic choice with the setup I have here. But for higher level content, I do actually recommend using Bottom Tree Voidwalker, which is Attunement of Hunger. And that's simply because you can use the Devour perk to make it so that every time you get a kill with a Transmutation Sphere created by Ruinous Effigy, you actually heal off of that kill. In higher level content, it can get a bit dangerous when you're going into close quarters. And the extra healing that Devour gives you upon kill, along with the healing you already get from the Ruinous Effigy's Void Ball, basically make sure that you can survive most of the dangerous encounters in the higher level content. So that's about it for my version of this setup. There's actually a lot of room both in mods and weapons to customize this build for yourself. So if you want to set this up, make sure that you add anything that you would rather prefer in this setup. And with that in mind, this should work for anyone out there that wants to give this build a try. 
So that will do it for the guide portion of this video. The rest of the video will be raw gameplay of me using this build, so feel free to sit back and enjoy the show. If you like what you've seen, feel free to check the description to see where else you can find me. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and have a good one.
We thank you, Guardian, and we will never forget. <laughs>